What is life now like in Germany? And the reason I ask you is, in your book, you talk about you were almost sad that the journey, that the, the trek came to an end. I, I should be, right? I mean, I had barely left home, and now, I ha and then I had to cross the whole of Europe. And I was like, come on, I'm a teenager. I, I got excited about it, and I'm like, yeah, let's go see all these countries. And just like my favorite princess spell, I love Beauty and the Beast. I always wanted an adventure in the Great White somewhere. So to have it all come to an end and to be confined to a, a, a refu refugee heim or whatever, uh, again in that room was a kind of a kind of a sad I mean, fact for me. You to taught yourself yeah. English just by watching television. Yeah. What, what sort of TV shows? The, uh, a soap opera called Days of Our, Days of Our Lives. I, yes. I, yeah. I really liked the story and it was, um, and I was engaged and one day I was watching and I, I didn't need the subtitles. Whoa, <laughs> I can understand. So that, that was a, I, I didn't know, um, I didn't know that, I didn't know that it, it would, you know, make me come this far in life. So I'm really, Really happy to have done that. It was a, it's it was amazing a, you did that. It um, was a great distraction. We've seen well. there that the map, um, three and a half thousand miles mm -hmm. that you travelled with your sister. Um, what was the most difficult part? What was the hardest part or the scariest part of that journey for you both? I mean, uh, uh, the whole thing looks like an action movie because according to Dublin, you know, you, and um, uh, each time when you arrive at a country you have to seek asylum the first safe country so and we had a destination which was germany to you know to join our brother and so you always have this don't give your fingerprints you'll get stuck here and mm -hmm. that was really stressful mm -hmm. uh, but the most difficult part was to to, to witness my, uh, our, my fellow pr proud citizens mm -hmm. get get stuck in borders and in a dying to 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 cross into countries and mm. and especially Hungary with that big fence and mm. that was heartbreaking for me to watch and how did how it make you feel as a citizen of yeah, Syria I mean, to have to be forced to do this to be walking across these countries herded through countries yeah I mean I felt, I felt like like they, they considered us an epidemic or a disease that they fear is going to spread among them and it's important thing you know that Leaving is not a choice. I would, I would gladly go back home if I had the chance. It isn't everywhere that refugees like yourself would be welcomed. Do you understand that people, it's not so much that they worry about you as an individual, they worry about the numbers of people? Yes, I, I suppose when, when, when the problem is solved, then there, there wouldn't be so much, uh, as, as big numbers as there are now. So, as I, as I said, it's not a choice. Maybe if we had a safer mm. country, we would, we would stay, we, we would just stay, stay home. Mm -hmm. have, will you go? Will you ever go home? Do you think? Yeah, definitely. Do you definitely. still have family there, or have they all left? Um, I have my sister. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and some acquaintances, but not cross religious. But you know, you are an amazing person, and we we shouldn't forget that you're looking at a teenager here. How old are you? I'm 18. She's 18 now, um, and you have lived a life that a lot of people will not see. What does the future hold? What What are you going to do? Well, for me, my personal ambition is to go on to university and to become a physicist, and then. Uh, potentially become an astronaut. I'd, I'd always loved space and from all these documentaries that I watched. Um, I, I thought it would, give, it would give me everything I ever wanted, the quietness, the stillness of space and the, you know, the curiosity I have and also give me a chance to kind of try and solve the biggest mystery of all. Are, are we alone? So um, it was the whole package in one for me. Um, and if something goes wrong with that plan, I, I really like the experience of, of writing a book, so I, may, I might go on and become a professional writer. Well, do you know what? Listening to you, reading your story, listening to you now, mm. I think you can do anything that you set your mind to, actually. And, and you know, I would like to ask you, why do you specifically want, not want to be seen in your wheelchair um, today? Just in case people, we've, we've made a big thing about your wheelchair, yet you're not in it. Yeah, and... Because I, I, I wanted you to see me as a person, not with that 
machine or that equ equipment. Not, mm -hmm. not, I, I do not want to, to, to be seen as different. Uh, because uh, these times, uh, uh, these times, I suppose, different is being seen as dangerous, and uh, uh, and different should not be dangerous.